Welcome to Collectors of the Coast. I am Cash. Uh, today we are doing a box break on Mystery Boosters. So we're going back to Mystery Boosters. I got four people involved in this. We got, uh, who do I got? I got uh, Pier, Chaco, Serranos, and Tiago uh, involved in the break. We're going to split this four ways, uh, see who gets the best hits, uh, and uh, good luck everybody. Uh, super excited. Uh, so Mystery Booster to me uh, has a, just a special place in my heart um last year when we uh when we went into the lockdown our first lockdown uh these these were just super fun to, they were hard to get at the time uh a little bit easier to get actually now and uh so when they came out it was right before everything kind of shut down not too long i, I guess there was came out afterwards uh but they were they were a hard get and they were a really interesting product um and just held a special a special spot so um, sorry, I'm sorry, I mix these up a little bit. I always try to mix them up a little uh, so that people get some different packs from this in the box. Some people think they get better packs if they're in different spots in the box. So we will randomize ourselves. Um, so the first person who responded was Pierre. So we were going to do Pierre first. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, last, uh, last spring, I mean, everything was delayed for Ikoria. Uh, Theros had come out, and Theros, I enjoyed opening Theros, but, uh, it was not, it was not a, a hot item, uh, to open, uh, compared to some of the previous sets. Oh, we got a Brian Elemental there, it's not bad. Um, and it's just, really interesting set, uh, no, you know, really liked, ooh, Wild Growth's nice for common. Uh, we, we got really interesting cards in the set. Ooh, Archangel, oh, look at the art on that. That's gorgeous art. Oh. The sky rang with the cries of armored seraphs and the darkness made a tactical retreat. Uh, so anyways, yeah, just a, um, I mean, it's just a 5-5 five, five flying vigilance, kind of Sarah Angel. Uh, just one cats and pots. Ooh, Decree of Justice. Really nice uh, angel card. Really nice in those angel decks now. Very sweet. Oh, and Shizo's Death Storehouse. Wow, very nice start. Gotta love it. Ooh, gives the fear. You don't see that too much these days. So, really nice. So, uh, nice start there, uh, Pierre. We'll, uh, you know, what? Oh, let me spread these out a little bit here. Uh, I'm not going to do an uncommon pile unless, mind you, that Archangel really stands out. Maybe deserves her own pile. She's pretty cool. Uh, anyways, yeah, so we did a lot of fun stuff with Mystery Boosters. Uh, it was a big part of kind of getting the channel going. Uh, and, uh, you know, just really interesting open. Like, you get Thought Cast as a common in this. It's just really nice cards. All through the pack, it's just, you never know what you're going to get. And love the variety. Um, would like to see this kind of set again. Uh, was not a big greed thing on uh, for Wizards. It was, uh, ooh, Angel of Destiny. Fantastic. And Tranchicutra gets plus 4-4 four, four flying and first strike and is an angel. Uh, when it dies, return Angel of Destiny to its owner's hand. That's pretty sweet. Oh, Star of Extinction. Got ourselves a Mythic in the house. Double Mythic. Two Mythics in a row. And Echoing Decay. Which is not bad. All right. All right, good stuff. Uh, nice start there, Pierre. You got yourself a couple Mythics. Good foil uh, Good, good foil in the first pack. Uh, that Angel of Destiny is sweet. like that. All right. Give me one of those. Yeah, I don't want to skip anything in these because some of the uncommons, I haven't seen actually a couple of the uncommons uh, that are worth quite a bit. We haven't seen for a while. All right. Beast Breaker of Balagad. Like those level up cards. Elves of the Deep Shadow. Oh. Abzan Charm. Oh. oh, I'm jealous. Bloom Tender, one of the best cards in the set. Going at around 40 or 50, I think it's like $50 now. Oh, fantastic. Must be Pierre. He's, uh, oh, and Marin. Wow, nice pack, man. Oof. And you get yourself a Ravenous Trap, which is fantastic as well in the foil. Very nice. Three packs in, and you have made your money back, and you're, uh, yeah, I think you're just, you're just raking in the dough now for the rest. Holy cow. All right. All right. I uh, didn't really agree with like Lonesome Unicorn being in here from the from the last set. I was kind of oh Phyrexian Le Reclamation. That's a nice uncommon, really nice. Uh, Stagger Shop. I could miss one of these uncommons. It's worth something, but uh, it's uh, 
I don't want to put that over there because I know it's worth some. Whisper Silk Cloak, really nice and common. Draco. Okay, so Draco not really worth anything, uh, but still, uh, back in the day, that uh, super fun card to try to play. 9-9, uh, nine, nine, Flying Dragon. Uh, really easy to get all the, the mana colors now. So you, you essentially, for 6, get a 9-9. Nine, nine. Still still reasonable. Oh, and Revel and Riches, which is a nice card as well. Wow. Wow, man. Oh, and Harmonic Sliver in the... Well, that's fantastic. What a... Jeez. So, uh, anyways, yeah, super fun. As you can see, like, you know, we would put one of these. Uh, we did promo boxes. I want to do that again at some point. Uh, and when we did the promo boxes, uh, you know, we put one pack of these mystery boosters. And you know what? Sure enough, almost every damn time there was something interesting came. Um, it really is. I mean, there's, oh, Thieving Magpie and that, uh, and that old Urza's, uh, what is that, Legacy? Mix, mix them up. Oh, love that. Love that classic art. All right, Whelming Wave. Uh, this is uh, in the Commander decks. Uh, nice card. And Drog School Captain. Very nice. Okay. Oh. Um, yeah, so these, 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 these boxes kind of went super hot. Uh, went up initially, then kind of sat. And it seems like lately they're, they're appreciating again. Uh, getting up closer to that. Oh, Skeletal Scrying. Really nice. Uh, appreciating now up to about three hundred dollars a box, uh, so we uh, we we had a pretty good deal actually for our for our patrons for this one. Oh, Squirrel Wrangler, that is awesome. Uh, there is talk of a that card's going to go up. Um, there is uh, there is a picture on the Modern Horizons two boxes of a squirrel, and. Uh, and we're expecting maybe oh, an tireless tracker. Fantastic. Wow, what a... Ro oh, and Mirrodin's core, not bad either. Uh, so don't be surprised to see this card go up a uh, bit in value. Uh, really nice, Pierre. Uh, wow, what a start. Uh, I was going to put your pile kind of up here in the corner. Uh, next up I got is... Would be... Uh, Sir, no, Tiago was second. So we're going to go Tiago. So Tiago, good luck, my friend. Tiago, really sweet guy, local guy. Uh, hoping uh, for for those uh, who aren't avid with the channel, uh, we've been doing a lot of work at the house, hoping to uh, get my patio done. We've been doing uh, patio and uh, uh, patio and uh, doing walkways and gardening and all kinds of. Oh, I don't remember even seeing this card in these before. Shardless agent, really nice. All right, jungle hall, hunter of the eye blights. Oh, that's pretty nice. All right, the Mari Conjecture. Oh, and Ravenous Trap. We got a second Ravenous Trap. All right, that trap's actually pretty nice, so. Hmm. All right. Uh, so, yeah, we've been working on that. We're, we're really excited maybe to get, uh, when, when things calm down a little bit here. Uh, if you're in the U.S., uh, we're, we're, we're kind of still in, oh, Underworld Coinsmith. Pay one life, each opponent loses one life. That's pretty cool. Uh, really nice. All right. Eldrazi Devastator. Oh, Dungrove Elder. Champion of the Parish. Whenever... I don't remember that card. Whenever another human enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Champion of the Parish. All right. Nice human card. And you got an Infect Unblockable Blighted Engine. All right. Uh, certainly, we slow down a little bit from Pier here. Let's see if we can pull you something good. Love to see that Sliver Hive Lord or Mana Crypt or, oh, I don't know, just something juicy and spicy. Uh, Blue Elemental Blast. So, uh, lots, lots of work to do anyways around here. As you can see, my hands, <laughs> see my hands, they're awful. They've been dinged up something fierce. Uh, my back's sore. Uh, really, uh, I'll read Reflection. Oh, you got the Gitrog in a Blazers, Trailblazers boots. Gitrog monster, really nice mythic. Uh, really nice fun card to play with. Uh, I have a deck, I think I took it apart, to be honest. Um, but I, I have a deck that uses the Gitrog, and it was, it was fun to play. Uh, lots of uh, shenanigans going on. Pulling land from my graveyard, bringing them back, playing them, sacrificing. Ooh, the old uh, Welbisher. I think I... Oh, do I have that one? I don't remember. Might uh, try to trade for that. We'll see. 
All right, Mana Tide, nice common. Steam Flogger Boss. Uh, not holding uh, big dollars. And Geth's Grimoire. I know this is actually, this is a uh, five, six dollar card. So uh, not so not so shabby in that uh, foil foil uncommon. Uh, Steam Flogger Boss, not not a, not a ton going on with that. Uh, well, we sure in the pack, might probably worth probably worth a buck or something. Uh, it always a good card. It came out, came out really made elves uh, possible back uh, back in the uh, onslaught days uh, when uh, life playing. Whenever an artifact enters the battle for new control, score one. That's a nice card. Well, one four for two. Oh my goodness, I like that. Gleaner, Tower of Eons, eh? Deadly Tempest, just okay. All right, Tower of Eons. Is that really a that was a rare, eh? And Frozen Aether. Uh, Frozen Aether, not bad. Okay. Have not hit big. Come on. Got a couple of good cards. I, I, like, certainly, that's the thing with this set. You never really feel like you get completely screwed. You, you never really get hosed in it, because everything, there's, there's good cards throughout. But we want to get more for our buddy, Tiago. Uh, Oracle of ne Nectars. Okay, not bad. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. That's another mythic grave titan. So that kind of brings everything up. And you got a bushwhacker. Uh, so pretty nice. I, I don't think, um, I wouldn't say home run, uh, but uh, solid, solid opening uh, for you, Tiago. Congratulations, buddy. Uh, that's really nice stuff. Uh, so we're going to put Tiago next. Uh, next to respond to me, and that's the order I'm going to do it, was uh, Serenos. Now, Serenos, uh, one of our earliest patrons, actually, I, th I think he might have been, he might be our, our, our oldest uh, remaining patron because we, we, we lost one or two of the older ones. Um, really sweet guy, really, uh, I mean, all of the guys who were in this, uh, really essential for making the channel happen and, and go and keep us going. I like that horn. Uh, and, uh, but he's moved. Uh, he used to work in Korea. He's back in Korea. So if you're looking for him, Wild Mongrel was such a huge card at one point uh, in Odyssey. Relic Crush. Rule Signet. The Signets are nice. Recoup, another nice uncommon. Uh, Night Howler and Sasuk, son of Sashiro. All right. Well, we'll, we'll talk about that. So, um, yeah. So these cards are going out to Korea. Uh, so we're going to try to pull something really nice for something worth shipping it to Korea, right? Um, we might uh, do something a little extra for him because he's, uh, he's a good guy. All right. Uh, Vampiric Hexmage is pretty nice. Blanchwood Armor. I've played this many a day. Good in those mono green decks. All of a sudden just pumps your guy huge. Uh, Wayfaring Temple is pretty nice. Renegade Map and oh, Meddling Mage. Uh, so Meddling Mage, I mean, the story with Meddling Mage it used to be, at one point, a big card. It used to be a really big uh, played card and uh, oh, two headed giants, not bad. Uh, you know, those coin flip decks, uh, an amulet of vigor. Oh, that's sweet. That is a sweet card. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's worth the shipping right there. That's very nice. That is a excellent card. I don't know what it's going for. Uh, I'm guessing 15 20 dollars, something in that range. Could be off by five dollars. Uh, but uh, really nice. Uh, congratulations, buddy. Uh, so don't mind sending out. We, we recently sent out, uh, well, I guess it's about a month ago now. Uh, Terminate, really nice common. Thought Vessel, really nice uncommon. Oh, Time Sieve. Really nice. Oh, this has been sweet. Urza's Rage and another Harmonic Sliver. Buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Wow. I miss doing these boxes. We, we might have to do another one of these. I, I got about... I got a few of these boxes kicking around, so we, we might be opening more. Uh, just uh, so fun to open. You just don't know what's coming. You know, funny enough, we've hit a couple of the same foils so far. Uh, time to feed. Crows and Tusker, uh, an absolute staple for me. Play that card in, in almost every deck I can. Uh, it, was, it was huge for, for value. Oh, that is a great uncommon aura shards. And... Duretti Crap Savant. He is uh, he is not a great. He is not. A, yeah, he's okay. He, he's an okay planeswalker, but he's not. A, he's not a huge scrib ranger. Wow, uh, I don't know where to put stuff. 
Uh, Aura Shards, man. All about the Aura Shards. I'm sure Aura Shards has more value than Duretti. Uh, Duretti's just okay. So, But you don't ever want to go too fast through these because you don't know what's coming, right? Ruin Rat. You just don't know what's coming in these packs. In what spot? Bounding Crosses? That's ah, okay. Refuge. River Boa. Nissa. Voice of Zendikar. We got another Planeswalker. And you got the old Intruder Alarm. An Intruder Alarm is fantastic. Whenever a creature comes into play, untap all creatures. Creatures don't untap during their, their controllers. Untap steps. Really super fun card. And you got it in foil. Oh my goodness. Uh, pretty happy with this uh, opening so far. Uh, everyone's got some good stuff. I mean, geez, well worth shipping stuff. You know, you, you really, really well worth shipping stuff out to uh, Korea when it's this good. Monastery Swiss Spear, really nice. Uh, another really nice un uncommon. Just so much good stuff in here. Uh, the Hydra, not bad. Uh, Fire and Ice. Uh, never really were a huge thing, these, uh, these, these dual modal cards. Uh, but this was the best one for quite a long time. Crystal Shar, nice, nice, uncommon. And Mizix's Mastery. And follow it up with the, the, the sliver. So uh, play the uh, play myself, play the uh, the shard in all kinds of decks. Really good when you want to return stuff to your hand. Uh, can be a pain for your opponents as well sometimes if they want to return stuff to their hand. Uh, or they have to save mana, also you got to return stuff to their hand. Just kind of a pain card. Uh, really good in tax decks, actually. Really uh, underrated card for, for those tax decks. Um, a lot of people play in those... Uh, those uh the decks with all the different attacks effects and, and that's just it's, it's just another good version of it all right we got a specter burnished heart dragon broodmother sorry who am i into now i'm into uh who was last jocko chocolate monster all right dragon broodmother really nice dictate of heliod uh. All right, and oh, uh, Man Man Manamo School of Water's Edge. That is a huge value card. We are making money. So this box is a, I bet you if I price this, this is going to be a, a, a $300 box probably with value uh, from what I've seen so far. Uh, that Pentioch Ward, that's not bad. All right, Butcher's Glee. Seeing some good commons that I like in here. All right, Zendikar Royal. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a 2-2 green elemental creature token onto the battlefield. Giant Growth, classic reprint. Uh, Migratory Root, if you're playing a, a bird deck. Grave Pelt Record, Energy Field. Classic Urza Saga reprint. Prevent all damage to you from sources you do not control. Whenever a card is put into your graveyard, sacrifice Energy Field. Interesting. Wow. All right, pretty interesting card. All right, oh, and Living Death. Been re Living Death has really been reprinted to death, uh, but it is a it is a nice card. Oh, and you got a Myogen of Life's Web. Fantastic. Can put your hand onto the battlefield. Really cool card. Wow. Wow, is this fun? I let's do another box. Oh, I think we're going to have to do another box of this. This is crazy. Carry and Feeder, good uh, good sack outlet card. One of the best sack outlet cards in the existence of the game. Joint Shields. We got a Tomb. Eh, it's just okay. Perish. Destroy all green creatures. <laughs> Those creatures cannot be identity. All right. Ever, ever a house and witness and council guardian. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Not, not a big pack there for sure. We've been running so hot that uh, we get the uh, every once in a while you get a mediocre pack, but uh, the whole box is good stuff. Inquisition of Kozalik, really nice uh, discard card, good stuff. All right, dual shot. What do we got here? The crowd goes wild. <sighs> Yay! All right, Moonglow extract, Chatter of Squirrel, Grave Crawler, and Stalking Stones. Okay. Uh, great color, fun card to play. Both, both, both playable cards. But uh, nothing, nothing like nothing. We want some big value. Can we pull Horseshoe Crab? One of my favorite all-time cards. Uh, love put making this in a pinger deck. No one's ever ready for the just the the, the shenanigans that and you can do with uh, one damage at a time. 
Nothing worse than nothing better than killing people one at a time. All right, questing full of the a lot of people like to play this card. Super fun. Okay. Oh no, this isn't the commander one. But he's still good. All right. Boom pile. Flip a coin. If you win the flip, destroy all non-land permanents. Wow. And oh, are you kidding me? I got a second amulet foil of vigor in foil in the box? Okay, one of you guys is going to trade me your Amulet of Vigor. I don't think I own one. Uh, and it's a card I really want. Wow, really nice. All right. I'm sure one of you guys. Borrowing a 100,000 arrows. Cable Therapy, one of the better discard cards uh, in the game. All right. Ren's Run Vanisher. Uh, pretty good. Calney Hard Position played this card a lot. Good card. Uh, Tatiova, Blighted Fen. <sighs> wow. Okay, we're going to finish strong. Wow. What a box. Defense of the Heart. Really nice. Uh, $10, $15 card. Really beautiful card. Really fun to play. And in the classic art. Oh. Grasp of Fate. And then, yeah, this box was not of this world. That is just a perfect ending. I mean, yeah. Really cool, creepy looking dude. Uh, wow, so uh, what a box. Uh, congrats everybody who uh, participated. Uh, well worth the money to uh, participate. We had a pretty pretty good price uh, compared to the markets on these. Uh, so I hope everyone enjoyed. Uh, I certainly did, it was fantastic. So uh, everyone, I hope you enjoyed. Have a magical day and uh, please subscribe. And if you are uh, interested in doing this kind of thing, feel free to reach out to us on Discord or on our Facebook. Uh, and we'd love to have you involved. Everyone have a magical day. Thank you for watching Collectors of the Coast. Please subscribe and like below. If you like our content, please consider becoming a patron. Uh, patrons help us grow the channel uh, and we, uh, I'll get great deals and more. Uh, check us out on Discord if you'd like to become a part of the community. The information to join the Discord is in the description below.